Hey guys, so I am out in my garden. It's kind of darker out here, which is, I don't know if my screen is just, one second guys. Oh, what's my screen? Anyway, I'm out here. I was out in the garden. The sun has gone down. It's a little, it's getting dark. It's not really that dark. But I wanted to share with you guys this flashlight that I purchased on Amazon. It's a black light flashlight. See if it shows up at all. No, it don't really show you that it's how it's a little. Let me see if it'll show up on my. See how it's. Huh? It looks a little colored. Well, that's because it's like a blue light. So, what it's good for is finding those um, hornworms. Now, let me tell you, they freak me out. <laughs> I got those things last year. My brother-in-law does not live that far from me. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half miles from me. And he's never seen those things on his plants and he's been gardening for a long time last year was my first year gardening I saw four maybe five last year and by the time I saw them they were freaking huge and I had the ones that had the white backs which is when the wasp I think lays their eggs in them or whatever they say it's what it said when I googled it so the other was the green ones that's completely green they if you've ever seen one they're actually really pretty the color is very pretty it just looks like a pretty caterpillar but it's not and nonetheless i don't care how cute it is don't be on my plants don't do it for real like i draw the line at bugs like people who know me are like I can't believe you're gardening as much as you fear bugs. I don't like them. I have literally had arguments with people like if you can prove why they need to exist. Like I don't understand the purpose of a spider. Okay, spiders eat other bugs. But if the other bugs don't exist, why do we need the spiders? Just asking. Asking for a friend. I see no purpose. They are literally satan's children if you ask me back to where i'm going with this so this is the first night i came out looking for these dang on hornworms because i was just in t nog's live sunday night live today is i don't know 25th 26th don't ask me the date it's sunday but it's somewhere around there maybe it's 26 27 i don't know anyway and Broke Farmer was in there and he made a comment that he had just sent a couple hornworms to the upper room. And I'm like, my tomato plants have started producing. They are definitely getting bigger. I don't even know if you can see how it's lit over there. Those are my solar lights. That just tells you it's a little darker out here. So I'm really surprised at how light I'm showing up in this. Anyway, um... So I was like, well, let me go over there and check it out, you know, um, but was at the end of her, her live and I was out here listening to the live as I'm looking and yeah, I find a couple hornworms. Let's see if you can even see them in here. Let me show you my little, um, picture, turn this around. All right, guys, so one of them, you see that on that leaf? That is one. The other one, I don't even see, so I don't know if it's because, yep, I think it's the leaf that's in the way, because I think it's, it is, it's the other thing floating in the water. You see that, right? Uh, let's see if I can get my finger. I can't get my finger in the shot, but it's right there. That's the other one. So they're babies. I mean, they're little. This is when I want to get them. So guess who's going to be out here every couple days looking for these suckers? Mm-hmm. 
because that's a perfect time for me to get them because no ma'am them big ones when they get full size I you know you'll miss them they they blend in with your leaves so you don't see them and I'm not kidding you they get so big the once one of them I saw from my kitchen window I was fixing dinner looked out on my patio because before I had my garden completely in pots on my patio and I could see it from the window and I was like I know that's not what I think it is came outside and sure enough it was it was a huge one so last year my husband had to get rid of all of them because nope not happening so that's been like one of my fears this whole time for this season is that I will I'm inevitably gonna probably see those things clearly yep I am so I will be out here trying to stay on top of it I will be away from my garden for one two three four five five days straight um, in the beginning of July because I have to go on a business trip and I might I, I might have my husband out here looking for him because <laughs> I want to stay on top of him. I feel like five days is too long because they can really, really snack on my garden. But I found them in, actually, it was on the same plant. It was on this corner, um, one of my Rutgers um, tomato plants. And actually, that's a lie. It was on, one was on each of my Rutgers tomato plants. Those are the only two tomato plants that are producing um, in this area and then my early girl which is um, over here on the end is also producing but there was nothing on any of those tomato plants I checked them but here I have three six seven eight tomato plants um, that are that big see how you, you you can't even see my corn almost behind it um, so they have gotten pretty tall already and then I have three smaller tomato plants like one I plant a planted from seed and I just added two suckers into that bed um, to grow as um, up into bigger plants and they are both uh, brandy wine the suckers are and then you know if you've seen other videos you know that's some um, tomato that I won from black tropicals um, youtube page so anyway yeah that light is a lifesaver so if you are like me and the garden bugs freak you out especially the hornworms um that's the only one i know it works for because they glow they literally glow like um neon glow in the darkish like a almost like a glow worm if you remember those um, toys from back when, probably the 80s, I guess. Because um, I would have been a little girl, so maybe it was in the 80s. But anyway, those, um, that's what it reminded me of when it lit up. The leaves will just look bluish with that light on it, and then they will glow a different color. And I was able to find those suckers. Did I miss some? Maybe, but I tried to make sure I looked on the underside of all my leaves and everything. But if they're really, really small, maybe I wouldn't have caught it with the light as I went across them. Um, Cause I didn't, they're kind of, you see how close together my plants are. So of course I'm not going to be able to see every single, you know, section. But the hope is that I got what was on these plants tonight. So just wanted to share that, share this, um, flashlight with you guys i don't remember how much it costs so i can't share that with you this is my dish soap i brought out to put into my water because <laughs> i just had i keep this pitcher out here um for different random things i use it for and so i filled it with some water for my hose and then i went in and got the soap but anyway this is uh what i got it's esco light i just Googled, I mean, I went on Amazon and searched for um, black light flashlight and I ordered it. So, like I said, I've had it for a little bit, but this is the first night I've used it because it came to my mind when 
I heard Broke Farmer talk about those worms. And those are, like, I could almost deal with the um, little worms that come, get on your brassicas. Because I can, I can deal with those. I've never seen them get really big. But if you've ever seen a hornworm, if you haven't, Google it. They get pretty big. And I don't want to have to deal with them. And I'm not that person that's just like, oh, I'll just pick them off. And no, no. So I use my glove to even pick off these little ones that are in here. And yeah. And the, you see, I took the whole leaf on that one. I was like, you know what? You've already chewed some of the leaf. I'm just going to take off the whole leaf. That other one is sank to the bottom now. So there you go, guys. Just thought I'd share that with you. Alrighty. Hope everybody has a great day. Talk to you soon.